<laughs> Say something, I'm giving up. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake. Cause I don't fucking care. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Project Zeus and in today's video guys, I have a little surprise for you. This is going to be a top 5. Now not any top 5, this is going to be a top 5 worst bosses in Call of Duty Zombies. Now I mean the all of zombies. It has, it's going to be track zombies because it's like tracks the same game. We could do one for Infinite Warfare but there's not really enough bosses as yet. I might do it when the last DLC comes out because I think we're going to have a surprise with that one. But anyway guys, this is going to be the top 5 worst zombie bosses in Trap Zombies. So getting straight into it guys, coming in at our number 5 spot. This is going to be a fairly, fairly new boss. Like it was in, introduced in DLC 2 in Zetsubu Nishima. So it has, we hasn't been in the, like, the, like, the community as such for a long time. But this is going to be Shrek. Nah, I'm just kidding guys. It is... The slasher. Oh, this guy, he has the ability to come in as early as round two, guys. Round one, if you get one of those, like, if you get the zombie infected. And basically, how this guy comes about, guys, is if you if he gets infected by the orange spores or anything like that, he basically just becomes this monster. Now, early rounds, yeah, fair enough. He's really not that much of a threat. But say you're in the boss fight. And don't forget, as many as these things can spawn in as possible if you're not killing them. If you're in a boss fight, round like 30 to 50, right, in the boss fight, you've got about 5 of these things coming at you, plus zombies. It is going to be a pain in the ass. Like, yes, they're not the worst bosses in zombies, and that's why he's up here on the number 5 spot. But, neither to say, he is a complete pain guys because there can be a whole family at least with the panzer the most you can get is two on solo this guy can fucking bring the whole family he can bring uncle slasher he can bring all of them and that's why is the name the nickname of shrek guys i mean if you're gonna put on pc and you have him as a mod as shrek then it is quite good you know everyone loves shrek but anyway guys that's gonna be our number five spot and he is gonna be starting us off on this top five coming in at our number four spot guys this is going to be the OG Panzer Soldat. Now, there's a couple Panzers, and I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. Harvey, I mean, I know the Panzer's a pain in the ass, but is he really that bad? And to be completely honest, guys, that's why he's at four, because early game, yes, he's kind of a pain in the ass, but as you can see here, like, this is me actually taking longer to kill him, just so you can see that he's not... He's not, like, too, too bad to be as bad as everyone, like, goes on for him to be. Now, if you're a beginner, I can see how this would be scary. One of my scariest moments in Zombies is generally the Panzer. I remember when that claw came at me when this first this game first came out. I shit myself, man. I couldn't believe it. I didn't know what to do. It was so scary. But that's why he's on 4, because although he's really bad, he's not as bad as whew, the next guy on this list. Because this next guy on the list is just a pain in the ass. But that's going to be our number 4 spot guys, quick, clean and simple, the Panzer Soldat. And coming in at the number 3 spot guys, this is going to be that guy that everyone shit himself when he first spawned in back in 2012, this is going to be Brewis. Now I know what you're thinking, he's not the craziest boss in like innovation, but he's essentially just a big ass zombie that gets in the way. Now what I mean by this is guys, is to you, to the player, he's not too much of a threat, you know, like, even when you're training, you can just, like, pick him off, you know, take his hat off, use the house Retriever, he's really not that much of a threat as a boss in general, but what makes him such a pain in the ass, guys, is on those early, early rounds of Mob of the Dead, as you know, points are everything, just like every other map, those early rounds, you need points. If you're unlucky enough, like, you pull Bastard to get Brutus on, like, round five or six, and your boy, as you can see some gameplay further on, takes out, like in this case it's a bettable bench, but if he takes out the box, or jug, or quick revive, or anything like that, and you have to pay two and a half thousand just to unlock that, and say he does like jug and all of these other perks all in one run, you're looking at like over six, like seven grand just to get all your stuff back. And on those early rounds, those are points that are essential and essential to get back on those other places. Now, don't get me wrong, you can get back on your feet, guys. You know, he's not a crazy, crazy boss, but 
On the annoying side, he's definitely coming in at like our number three spot. Now, I just want to clarify with you guys, when I when the title is top five worst, right? I don't mean worst as in like they're the worst zombies out of like like the bosses, like they're shit bosses, if you know what I mean. I mean like they're the like the top five most pain in the ass zombies. Okay? <laughs> so basically that's gonna be our number three spot. Alright, we are getting ever closer to that number one spot, guys. But this, for now, is going to be our number two spot. And this is probably kind of in a tie with number one with the most annoying dick of the zombie bosses. Because, to be honest, the amount of times this guy has made me rage quit. And I don't rage quit easily. Like, I used to play the Borderlands games, and I would sit there and grind and grind and grind for hours. So it takes a lot to get me to rage quit. Honestly, it does. But this is the map. That did it the most. OG Black Ops 1, where the, uh, the gameplay you can see now, where there was no per perkaholic or nothing to help you out, nothing nice like that. You'd go all the way down twice to get Jug, you'd come back, and this motherfucker, this motherfucker, as soon as you walk through that door, BAP! He just picks you up, takes your perk, and throws you halfway across the map on a red screen, and you get downed by a little zombie. This guy is the bane of my existence on like, BA1 Moon. This is the reason not a lot of people like BA1 Moon because this guy right here, he's just such a dick. <laughs> like yes, we've got like now we've got the uh, Regal Mark II. We've got all the BA3 powerful weapons. We've got the Zap guns, obviously. Everything you could possibly need on a death machine. Anything you could possibly want to take out this douchebag. But on BA1, this guy was an absolute. Dick bag. Now I've never said that, but that's how much of a dick he is. Now that's why he's gonna be our number two spot, guys. And here it is, guys. Number one, spot number one. It is that motherfucker. I bet you guys didn't even remember this boy, but he's still coming at us to this day, six years later. And this is my boy, the Pentagon Thief. Now I know what you're thinking. As a boss, he doesn't do anything to you. He's not really that. Bad. But honestly guys, this guy is a pain in the ass. Now I can speak from experience. Six years ago, I was pretty much just starting out in my zombies career, you know, like just like I was but I've been playing it for a year, not 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 too long, still pretty shit back then, you know? So I'm just starting playing, playing this this map. It's alright, it's you know, it's in the Pentagon, it's pretty pretty cool theme for a map, you know. So I'm just going around doing my thing and then boom! This motherfucker just comes out of nowhere and steals my gun that I've just been trying to get. Now, if you had just got your ray gun stolen back in the day as a kid, that pissed you off. Little Jimmy is salty as fuck right now. That made you so, so mad. And that's why this guy is probably the most annoying boss to me anyway. Like, I can't think of anything more annoying than getting your gun taken away from me, you know? It's just, he's, he's just such a dick. Now, there is one good thing that comes out of this and also this one good thing makes him from not being more than hated. Now this thing is called the Bonfire Cell. Five was the only map that the Bonfire Cell was ever introduced in. It had its debut in it and it was its last debut basically because that was the last time we saw it. Now essentially those of you that may not have played five because you know you'd be surprised not a lot of people have played the older maps. What this was was think of a fire cell but for packer punching. So basically, you would get this massive, massive drop that looked so dope, which you would only get from killing this motherfucker here. <laughs> and you'd basically go to the teleporter room, and you'd go into where you can pack a punch, and it would be 1,000 points to pack a punch your guns. Now I know what you're thinking, that's really good, and it was, it was a crazy, crazy drop. And that's why I have a little tiny, and I mean a tiny smither of a bit of respect for this guy, because I do not like him. Personally, I do not like the Pentagon Thief. I know there's probably worse bosses out there, but I had the worst memories of him, because I was like, basically kind of learning back then. So that's why he's going to be our number one spot. So there you have it guys, there is our updated to the time 2017 top 5 worst bosses in all of Call of Duty Zombies. Holy shit, you did it, congratulations, you sat through a whole video listening to me. Woo, good job guys. Now, but no joke, that is going to be the video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it, I spent too much, too much time to be honest, I spent quite a long time editing this one, so if you enjoy it, please tell your friends. Uh, get it out there, subscribe, you know, I would love it if you subscribed, and I promised, I promised, and it's happening, guys, 
on Monday I'm upgrading my internet so we can stream at 1080p so if you're just watching this now and you're new to the channel make sure you tune in this week sometime this week because I don't know if there's like a time how long it takes to like start a new internet package or something like that but I have looked into it and we are going to be streaming in 1080p quality streams it's gonna be fucking sick so thank you so so much for coming out guys I hope you enjoyed this video because I spent a long time on it you know and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.